I hope you are having a fantastic Chinese New Year with your family. This is Bobby from Unipro. In this video, we will have a look at PoE injector. So, first of all, what's PoE? PoE stands for Power Over Internet. Well, basically, what it means is that we add power to our internet cables which is a way to power the device connect to our internet cables without requiring any additional power source. We are putting the power on the internet cable itself and we are able to power the device like IP cameras, wireless access point, and voice over IP telephones. This can be very useful if you just want to run a single wire to an access point. In that way, you don't need the power in the theory or any additional power source. You just need that one internet connection. So, where's this power going to come from? Well, if you have a switch that supports PoE, it's coming directly from the switch itself. That's called NSTEP. Sometimes you need to provide power for that device, but your switch doesn't support PoE. In this case, you will need an inline power injector. That's called misbed, also called PoE injector. Although PoE compatible switch isn't, many homes, office, and business have non-PoE switch already installed. It will really replacing the millions of non-PoE switch is not a available solution, not as unnecessary running two cables, one for power and one for data, to a device that could be operated with just one cable. The Uniper PoE injector is a good option. It is a device used to add power to an internet cable for PoE equipment. Now let's take a close look at this PoE injector. This is model number PN9501TINV1, 10 GB high power PoE injector, special for Wi Fi 6, 5G network systems, all in one and compact size design. It is easy to install the PoE injector by way of plug and play and comes with simple troubleshooting, making it easy for business and home users to own it. PN9501TINV1 has three modes, BT, Legacy BT, and UPoE, which can be adjusted on the front side with a DIP switch. We will talk about it in just a moment. Now, we will take a look at how this works. First, connect the IC power cord to the IC slot of the PoE injector. The power LED will be steadily on. Then connect a standard infinite cable from an infinite switch to the data input of the PoE injector. Finally, connect an other infinite cable to from the PoE output of the PoE injector. to the IP camera. Now we can see the data coming directly from infinite switch. It goes into this PoE injector and it outputs the same data and provides power on the right from the injector. This is called a misband connection. It is simple support plug and play and it does not require any configuration for it to function. There are intelligent LED indicator for PoE mode. When toggle the DIP switch to the BT mode for power supply, the BT legacy BT Y will be green. This is HPOE AO2.3 BT and this was created in 2018. It expands the maximum PoE power available. 
pushing the power limit of power sourcing equipment to 90 volts and power device to 71.3 volts. Additionally, IEEE AO2.3BT supports multiple PoE classes and is backward compatible. When toggle the DIP switch to Legacy BT board for power supply, the BT Legacy BT light will be orange. Legacy BT board is used to enhance the compatibility with those PD devices that do not fully follow the IEEE AO2.3AF AT BT standard. When toggle the DIP switch to UPOV board for power supply, the UPOE light will be green. In 2014, Cisco created and other non-standard PoE implementation called Universal Power Over Internet. We also call it UPOE. Its maximum power is 60 volts. Cisco UPOE extends the IEEE PoE Plus standard to double the power per port to 60 volts. Now we can see the image on the screen. We can see green now, so the system is all operatable means everything is good. Okay, that's pretty much of this video. If you have any question about PoE and Unipol in general, feel free to head to our website www.unipol.com or send us an email to info at unipol.com if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe and if you want to be notified with post future videos, hit the notification button below. We will send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.